Hi, I'm Scott, and this is my wife, Christina, and this is our story of redemption. Uh, we didn't necessarily start out the right way. We had a child a month after we graduated high school. We waited eight months to get married so that we got married for the right reasons. And we had three children. And when our son, Brett, our youngest, was 13 months old, that's when our life was changed. So this was an ordinary day like any other day. Scott's parents were going to watch the kids for us while I went to work. So I had left the car seat so she could um, take the baby with her when she left. And so she was out putting the car seat in the car and Brett was out there with her in between her and the car. And most of you know that if you're not experienced putting in a car seat, it's a struggle sometimes. And she was struggling with that car seat and Brett snuck away from her and was running, chasing after my dad who had already gotten in his truck and started to back out when he ran him over. Uh, yeah, I, I was at work and um, I got a phone call that you know no mother wants to hear, um, that my son had been hit and I needed to get to the hospital. So I rushed into the emergency room where um, I went up to the nurse and told her I was there to see my son. And I remember her, instead of taking me back into one of the, the emergency rooms, she took me aside into the side room and I, in my mind, I'm thinking, why is she doing this? And when I got inside, um, our whole family had gotten there before me and was already sitting in there and told me that um, Brett had passed. And um, at that point, I just remembered that I couldn't breathe and I felt like I didn't have any air. So I ran out of the room and went into the parking lot and just started asking God to help me and help me get through it. And um, I remember very clearly that they said to me, you need to go back into that room and you need to tell those, par those grandparents that you forgive them. And I just looked at it, or, you know, I looked up to him and I said, God, I can't do that. I said, I think I can do that one day, but I can't do it right now. I just found out that my son died. And he said, no, you need to go do that now. And so um, I said, okay. I went back in and I um, knelt in front of Scott's parents and I said, I don't remember my exact words, but it was, um, I know you guys are great grandparents. I know you love my kids and I don't hold this against you. Um, I forgive you and I would trust you with my other kids. Um, and I just think that that really helped to start the healing process in the entire family at that point. So I had to watch all of this firsthand and let me tell you, it was the uh, most courageous thing I think I've ever seen in my life. And it's not only that she went and said that to my parents at that time, but it's that she lived it out immediately. There was never a delay in my parents being able to watch my other kids. We still always got together. There was never any animosity. And I think that moment in time is what triggered us to have healing, to uh, have redemption, and to have recovery. And um, it led to members of our family coming to know Christ through this experience. And that was the greatest joy. So this was an event that could have destroyed our family, our marriage, uh, our relationship with my parents. But because God gave us grace and we were able to extend grace, it brought about healing and restoration. Now we have grandkids of our own and it's such a blessing to be able to um, have a, another chance to just uh, watch them grow and, it, and be a family. And so I just am really grateful for what God has brought us through. And I just pray that he can use that to encourage someone else that's really struggling. Because when you're in the middle of a struggle, when, you, when you're in that, it feels hopeless and it doesn't feel like there's any way out and um, but you know I'm, I'm here to tell you that God can take a tragic situation and he can 
give you hope again. And if you just trust him, if you know his character, just remember who he is and um, believe that he can yeah, work all things for good. God redeemed our tragedy and he could redeem yours too.